It's time for the Giz Whiz with Mads Maddest Rider, Dick D. Bartolo. This episode 1988, recorded Thursday, May 16th, 2024. What the hair is it? On this episode of the Giz Whiz, Dick D. has a what the heck is it? A dimmable plant light. I have a bone conducting gadget in my crappy corner, plus your videos. All next on the Giz Whiz. It's the Sales Show with Dickie D. And OMG chat on your PC. It's time for the Gizwiz because gadgets are his business. They've got a gizmo sickness, geek disease. Under pathology. Rows and rows of USBs. Growing blue and LEDs. Get ready for the Gizwiz now. 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 And here he is, uh, the host with the most head of hair, Dick D. Bartolo. <laughs> How you doing, Dickie D? I'm doing good. Yeah, someone in chat right before the show said, it looks like Chad had a battle with a lawnmower, <laughs> and the lawnmower won. <laughs> Is this I, the shortest you've done your hair? It's probably since middle school, or elementary school, even. Oh, oh um, my God. Yeah, I had a buzz cut. So for those that are on audio, I have a new haircut, a buzz cut. I haven't had a buzz cut since elementary school. And uh, so this is my new summer do. And it oh, is nice. I think it looks great. Thank you. Yeah. And Thank you'll, you. you'll find it. You love it. I, cool. I've had it for a few days now, and um, it's great. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> Just not having to deal with hair. Now, I, I remember this when I was in elementary school. I have these two, like, scars on my head. I'm not sure if oh, they are yeah. coming through on the video. but So they're somewhere up there. Are these two scars? No, I, I can see him. I can see him. Yeah, and that metal. I, I think I got bumped as a child, which explains everything. But um, they're the scars. Yeah, are they still are. Yeah. Wow. <laughs> wow. But I still think you have more hair than me. The other day, I was we were shopping at CVS, and I picked up a bottle of shampoo, and Dennis said, "Why are you buying shampoo?" I said, "I said, oh." You're right. I said, but this will be my final bottle of shampoo because <laughs> I have really nothing on top to I can use it for my stash. I was I'm wondering, doing. do they make mustache shampoo? They, no, no. They got it. That's a good Kickstarter. I think that, that could that's a marketing oh, there breakthrough go. There, right there. There you go. Buy there normal go. shampoo and then repackage it in two ounce bottles and then sell it as mustache shampoo. There you go. That's there great. you go. Uh, yeah, no, and I'm also wearing my Pizza Planet shirt because I also felt I look a little bit like Sid from Toy Story. So, uh, Pizza Planet is a Toy Story uh, reference. So I thought, I thought wow, I'd, I'd wear it's the a shirt whole today. Theme of, wow, <laughs> talk about theme. When you, when you get the references, go deep. Okay, listen, <laughs> it's not surface level. You got to really dig in. I got to even shout them out every once in a while. Wow. Um, no, it looks good. <laughs> looks good. <laughs> Awesome. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. I've been I've been enjoying it. And uh, there's a lot of jokes in the chat room about how much I run and how much I love running. But it's been great with with running, too. Oh, my gosh. The uh, did you pick up speed? I can't, not quite. I don't think I see a difference in my paces, okay. but I definitely feel a difference on my head. Like this true summer cut reason is uh, it's so much cooler. It's hard to 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 find a time to run where it's not 80 degrees and it is very uncomfortable. I'm not a Bikram yoga type of guy. OK, I don't want the hot yoga. I don't want hot workouts. I want cool workouts and so that's quite difficult <laughs> to do in Florida because wow. wow. it's hot here all all the time. Yeah. All the time. Yeah. Um, so yeah, it's been great. I've, I've uh, thank you for for saying that it looks good. Amazing. Well, let's jump into some gadgets. Oh, okay, did let's... anything happen that we need to fill? I don't uh, want to just only yeah, talk about my No, haircut. I've been just trying to keep the studio clean, and that's almost impossible because, <laughs> I, you know, now, I don't know if this comes up for you, but when you order gadgets, sometimes Amazon says how many gadgets you've bought recently, <laughs> and it said you have now bought 118 gadgets in the past 90 days oh my gosh god that's more than i'm i'm passing <laughs> one gadget a day 
So, no. That's like two gadgets a day, isn't it? How yeah. many days was I, it? I do buy I, anything I think might be fun for the show. I buy and you yeah. use returns a lot, though, which I think is very smart. That you well, return I use stuff you don't need. If, if, yeah, and people well, don't yeah, you know, no, keep no, that in mind with Amazon. Is that you can't? Yeah, but you if you don't need it, you pay right to ship it back. Uh, wait, what did you say? I think. I true? think you pay if you just have no use for it. Ah. I, uh. I, re- I just return stuff if I open it up and it just is it's nothing crummy. like, yeah, exactly. I see. Oh, uh, okay. I, just, I misunderstood yeah. that. I thought you were just like, oh, I just don't want this and, and send it back to. Um, no. Yeah. You know what's mm. funny that you can do that with that no one realizes audible books you can return. <laughs> yes, I don't know if you're an Audible book listener, but you can return your Audible audiobooks very easily. And I just did it. I got a book that I didn't like. <laughs> was just, I got like three chapters in. I was just like, this is not my, the story for me. And you can return the book and digital oh my- audio file and you just return it and then get your credit back and buy another book. It's really wow. great. This is not an ad. We're not sponsored, but no, uh, no. yeah, something people don't realize. Well, I also. would check. I would check that they didn't take off ninety cents because <laughs> the computer said he already read three chapters. <laughs> Restocking fit. Yes, exactly. These <laughs> digital <laughs> files are used. Uh, you yes, to exactly. to me. I don't know about this. We have to put all those words back in order again <laughs> that you used. <laughs> we got to put this file back on the shelf. Uh, I don't know. If we can. <laughs> Oh, we have the capacity to do that. That's funny. Um, um, okay, well, let's uh, jump in. Uh, uh, jump in. Okay, this is kind of a bizarre uh, what the heck is it. And here Another. it is. Another what the heck is it. Da, da. I have All to start right, with it. Ready a, to guess? Uh, it's a white piece of paper. Oh, what? <laughs> yeah, that's that it. You got that side. Great. Now, let's see if you get the other side. Don't have to. Okay. Just this is a very hard the what the heck is it. But I'll show you a picture of it. What the heck? <laughs> a koozie. It's a very inefficient potty. Yeah, it looks like a very it looks like a camping potty. Porta yeah. potty. Porta potty. Yeah, porta potty. Okay. Yeah, potty. That, that would have been one of my first guesses too. Um, now, I, I guess I'll show you what it is, and then it, it's just weird. Okay, probably one. Of Let the me. Oh, do your arms go through the hole on the side, and your head goes through the hot one on the top? Oh, yes. I think it's a life jacket for a chihuahua. It's a porta potty you look in. No. Okay. (laughs) No. Porta potty you look in. Just bizarre. It is the. This is the way you use it. You you bring it on an airliner with you. And you put your arms through it. Let me see. I need to push it. It's like a knockoff ostrich pillow. Yeah. Oh, the, is, yes, oh my ostrich, ostrich pillow. As a travel This honestly pillow. looks more comfortable than the um, ostrich pillow. Doesn't look very travel like. Okay, but still well, stupid. Let's see what it looks like. <laughs> but <laughs> both are it look as dumb. Comes. I right. totally forgot about um, that. And of course, I scanned the reviews and someone said, I could never, ever get it back in the package it <laughs> came in. That's my <laughs> guess. That once you unpack it. I'm surprised it let you on the airplane. <laughs> Uh, Do you so, bring it on the plane inflated? No. I <laughs> oh, the inflated it, pillow. Uh, oh, I'd be scared to death if somebody did uh, uh, Yeah. That's not air. And this you is, would think that someone... Are you inflating another yeah, person? Yeah. The ostrich pillow is also not quite so, so, like, up. Like, you wouldn't sit with it like that. Oh, it kind of... Look you kind of needed a um, table to lay Chad on. Yeah, like that. Earplugs. Ah, earplugs. Love them. Uh, yes. Night shade. Ooh. All right, that's good. Little extras. And now the porta potty <laughs> travel pillow. I mean, I guess if you were caught short, <laughs> you could go to the back of the plane and just use this. Except the hole would come out of the <laughs> hole. <laughs> well, don't, don't go alone. No. Don't go too much. That's where you can put the solo cup uh, through yes. that little. Yes. Okay. Uh um. <laughs> you explain that to security. It, it, looks, it looks like it says, ha ha, we made you buy this. Ha ha. <laughs> ha ha, it's really do? a toilet. Ha ha. Yeah. How would you get the best security? Oh, Look at that thing. 
It's no, officer, I swear, it's just sink. a pillow. Oh, they gotta be kidding. Oh, this They're like, this looks like a life, life raft. raft. It looks like an army surplus thing. Yeah. <laughs> Doesn't it? It does. Could you imagine your neighbor on a plane whipped this I, thing I, out? I cannot. I cannot. It's so heavyweight, it, too. It is heavyweight. You know, if, you, if the plane goes down, you might be able to use this as a life raft for four people. <laughs> Don't Are mind me. Kidding? I get nervous on planes. Oh you know, it inflates. Somehow, it says, just pump the switch in oh. one of the reviews. It's, uh, it's uh, 11 p.m. Come back at 1 a.m. This thing... Oh my gosh, okay. it has a pump it's in it? It's only 11.30. A pump. I said, oh come my. back at midnight. Can you believe, Can you see this? Poor guy says, oh my God, it's inflated. <laughs> Ladies and gentlemen, this is the captain. We're landing in yes. LA now. Please prepare Please for our put initial descent. And two. Away. <laughs> we hope you enjoyed your four and a half hour flight. Oh my God. That's, that's ridiculous. As I said, it would be great. It's a flotation device if the plane crashes. You know, it's almost done. I guess we're good enough. <laughs> Could you imagine getting on the plane and seeing somebody with that on. <laughs> um, it's uh, really tall. We're going to rearrange the furniture a little bit and come back. I hope you <laughs> hope you love the smell of plastic. <laughs> of course. This is look at the size of look at the size of this opening for your head, and I believe this is the lodge. Uh, I is it comfortable? It doesn't it, you know? It almost it almost would this. work. Almost there's enough room here. You could put your phone in here. I just and you <laughs> could put snacks in here. A little privacy and your wall. arms in here, and then your head. Uh -huh. But you really have to get this firmer than it is. Ah! <laughs> Just take that on the plane. I'm sure no one will be upset. Yes. <laughs> Remember this guy? All right, so now... This is getting better and better. It's, all right, now it's rigid. And... They charge you enough for an extra seat. <laughs> <laughs> You know, this is terrible. You know what? It's worse. Because now that I totally inflated it. It's tough. This is it's, like yeah, it is Yeah, it's and a hard surface. Well, you just need that, sort of plus a blanket, plus a pillow. <laughs> so don't bring an air inflator on. Don't forget your earplugs and your night you're not gonna chain. Um, that's it. I... <laughs> I don't know what to think. That is uh, just it, too it's cheap. Funny. It's, I think the <laughs> Oster's pillow was like ninety dollars or something. This was yeah. The Oster's pillow was like a luxury item. Weirdly, yeah, it's <laughs> a luxury item. It yeah, eighteen dollars. Oh my god! From the Digis so store. Funny, the Digis store. It got like kind of like, okay review. Oh well, it didn't get many reviews. Yes, that's why. Yeah, sort of. Only eleven. I wonder what Inflatable. the small is. The middle. Oh, it goes large to middle. Oh. Yeah, so I don't. Funny. I don't get the middle. Looks like it's thinner. I guess if you're in the middle seat, you don't want to <laughs> bother the people on either Maybe, side. I wonder if it's made more for the table. Yeah, for the for like you. If you're not going to put it on your lap, instead you'd put it on a table. That's why it's like shorter. So it's only fifteen. Ma oh, inches oh, maybe, maybe tall versus nineteen inches yes. tall. I think. And but I yes. love when deflated. Easy to roll back into the the uh, bag. <laughs> There's nothing, nothing else on this takes thing. Up, this is... Takes up hardly any space in your carry-on bag. Really? Yeah. I'm definitely of the opinion that the that... amount of discomfort that a four-hour... Let me just show you. Here's the bag it comes in. <laughs> and this is what you're supposed to get back in that bag. <laughs> That's uh, too funny. There's, is that a riot? <sighs> this is yeah. I think I think the uncomfortable. You being uncomfortable for five hours 
or you being uncomfortable annoying your neighbors with a blow up inflatable thing to kind of barely rest your head on for the yeah. flight. I don't think it's worth it. I think I think the I think you've invested too much other uncomfortableness into this product. I don't think it's worth it. This is no, no, no. And I think everybody in the plane would be walking back and forth, and they'll say, "Walk up to row yeah. 17. They, and look you at see that. the crazy look at guy with the there. yeah throwing up in his porta potty. I agree. I agree. You'd be the talk yeah. of the plane. <laughs> Absolutely. Absolutely. Uh, that is a anyway. funny one. Okay. It, wow. It's funny. Um, okay, on to a new plant light I didn't know about. Strangely, I thought plant lights had to be blue spectrum, or at least every plant light I had for years was a bluish tint. And I was looking on Amazon, and I saw this strange light, and it's a grow lamp light. And evidently, you dial the color you want it to be. Anyway, it was a deal of the day for like $10. Or, or regularly, it's just $15. And you, it comes on a big pole, it seems like, which would be great. I have a big ivy plant in my backyard uh, in my back apartment that is uh, almost 50 years old and, wow. and growing strongly. So I thought we'd take a look at it. Okay. Uh-uh. Echo friend. This box is echo friendly. Uh, the box may be echo friendly, but. I saved the planet. 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 I can hear it echoing now. Are you yeah. kidding me? Is that it? Yeah, I'm what? thinking. This Talk about glow. false advertising. That box makes it look so much bigger. That is the glow. It look what? Yeah, this thing gonna that. be a big <laughs> tall the way thing. The, like the stickers were on the other one. I thought it was that. All right. Oh, oh, diggy dee. Mm. That is so much smaller than I expected. Me too. <laughs> How big is that plant in the picture? <laughs> yeah, that... It's like a dwarf plant. This is... Oh, it's like a... It, it, it's like a car antenna. Doesn't it look Old like... Doesn't it look like it's a big pole yeah, in the middle? Does. Oh, my God. Yeah. Holy cow. It's a telescoping wand. It's a <laughs> telescoping wand that screws in. So there's one... <clears throat> I remember there's extendable forks. We had that type yes, of thing. Yes, yes, yes. That sticks in the soil. Well, I mean, this might be okay. <laughs> oh, you know what? It is a car antenna. <laughs> it is. <laughs> your plant may not grow, but your plant light certainly will. Well, it's not a disaster yet. Your plant okay. will get light and um, FM. So it comes with a plug, <laughs> which is good. A lot of... Yeah, my son says the same thing. Just like plug it into uh, it. your computer or an external battery pack. Uh, you don't have a lot of light, uh, a lot of cable for a plant light. Good, four, four feet of cable. But we'll plug it in. And all the uh, controls are on the box. Let me find an extension down here to plug it into. All right. Let me just shut this up. I, I mean, I don't know what you can tell from this. It's kind of cute. It's certainly an obtrusive. Yeah, you know, in reality, um, I sort of like this. The problem is the plain light I have now, it, puts, it lights a lot of the room because it's a big plant light. This is the LED plant light I have now. So it's a little weird. It's As you can see, it's red and blue shining down on the plants. And the main part of the plant seems to face up toward the light. But the vines of the plant and it's a philodendron, are very long, not an very healthy. And this plant is about 50 years old. This plant was in my office at Goodson Todman through all the match game years. Oh, wow. Now I'm going to put in the plant light that we just demonstrated earlier and see what that looks like. We stuck the plant light in the plant. It's much now, smaller. Uh, um, ah. All right. 
right, so in case you don't remember, we can change the color of the light. This little plant light better not kill your 50 year old plant. No. The control within the line cord here, so we'll have to. I don't know, if I find a place for that. I guess it can just hang down. But um, I guess I can't. I'll wait to see the video. This looks more natural, I think. <laughs> it looks a lot more natural. Lot so more I'll more nat yeah. probably stick with this one for a while. So, all in all, I like the way it looks. And even though it came in a tiny box, I think it's going to work out really well. Maybe, let's see how it does on my hair. Come back in a, in a two years. That's great. And I can't believe that plant is just about to retire any day. Any day. Yeah, about no, to... it is still going strong. That's great. And also what's nice is that plant light has a built-in timer. You can do three, six, or nine hours on and off, and it once you set it, it recycles every day. Oh, that's so you great. don't even have to bother turning it on and off. Instead, if you go away on a trip, it'll just keep turning itself on and off. And fifteen bucks that's seems great. really reasonable for. And it. I like the, uh, uh, like I really like that it's, it looks so simple. It looks like a fixture that you have in your house, like not the weird orange and like, I don't know. Yes. I, I have looked for plants, uh, plant lights too. And I've, they always look like in either industrial products or, or like medical products. They have like a weird, like white plastic kind of vibe yes. to them. Yeah. So this, this, I really like the, uh, the vibe of it way smaller than I expected. I think both of us. Me too. Did. Me too. I, I expected a big box with a pole. Um, but yeah, it, 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 it's, it's pretty nice. Yeah. Interesting. Yeah. I really do wonder, does that spectrum of light have anything to do? Like, does it, is it going to be better? Is it going to be worse? Does it you matter? know what? I, I looked all over the place and it seemed like most plant lights range from 5,000 to 6,500. And this one, if you put it on the softest light, is only I think it says uh, three thousand K. So I don't know if plants grow at three thousand K, but yeah. I'll find, I'll find well, out if my ivy starts we'll drooping. You should like put the light over to the side so that maybe the uh, the uh, pe petal not petal leaves like face it. Like see if you can get the oh, plant oh, to tell you to if move, the light to move <laughs> exactly. Uh, of course, Scooter yeah. X found it very inexpensive. On oh my gosh! AliExpress, ninety-nine cents. What? There you go. Uh, Wait, is it is it dimmable? I oh my god! So this is this one. This uh, first one was six twelve. This one, let's see. Da, 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 it looks. It looks like dimmable. That's it. That's the same control box. Yeah. Oh, oh my yeah. God, I just bought another one. Dennis said, oh, can you buy me one of those? Oh, it comes in black and white. You need a white yeah. one. Yeah, no one is black. Look at that. Oh, well, 99 cents. And it comes before the end of May, which is honestly kind of fast. It's like in two weeks. Unbelievable. <laughs> Unbelievable. There you go. Just a dollar. You can... Uh... <laughs> How could they possibly make that for a dollar? I don't and know. Ship it? I don't know. It was, free, was it free shipping? Uh, I gotta open that back up. Let me look. Yeah. Well, <laughs> yes. Oh my. I free shipping. Uh, yeah, free shipping. Fast delivery in May. <laughs> That's what it says. Unbelievable. Yeah, it's crazy. That is crazy. Now, just say a welcome deal. I don't understand the AliExpress deals. I've said this before. I apologize if I ever like it. Does I don't I never know when it's showing me like a a crazy fake deal that is like sign up. Yeah, yeah, <laughs> I know what you mean. I, I know never what you tell. Mean. Um. Anyway, very inexpensive. Okay. Uh, out and about. Thanks, Scooter X, uh, for finding that. That's okay, great. third gadget. That's great. Okay, our third gadget is this guy. A little while back here in New York City, we had a very freaky day. 
87 degrees. Ugh. And I was going to run to the gym and I put on gym shorts and the, didn't need a jacket. And then I suddenly realized gym shorts, the ones I have, have no pockets and I needed to carry my cell phone. Uh, so I went online. I just typed in Google. How do you carry a cell phone when you have no pockets? All right. And it came up with, this is one suggestion. The Guzak Slim Running Belt for phone. I guess phone 6.8 inches and bigger or small. I guess small. And small, yeah. Um, anyway, I bought it instantly. Just keep on running. You know, the interesting thing about New York City is it can be 12 degrees out and you can be on your way to the gym. And more often than not, you will see at least one person coming down the street in just their gym shorts and a t-shirt. Okay. Part of it is, <laughs> hey, look at me. Yeah. And part of it is they want to just run directly onto the gym floor and not have to go to the locker room. All right. Uh, so this is the, this is it. I, I am still using an old LG8. It's, it's like three or four years old now. All right. The advantage being Dennis has the same phone and when he gets in trouble, uh, I can just look on my phone and tell him what to do. Uh, all right. So that's pretty nifty. We interrupt this program. Uh, it's an interesting point. Uh, on the website, they say GU, GSAC, but then in the photo, it's a different brand. <laughs> and indeed, the belt itself, uh, it might be a high sky, high sky. High sky. Husky. <laughs> All right. And also, I just noticed looking at the logo that there is a pass through if you happen to still wear. Uh, wired. wired headphones, okay? You can put your headphones in there and feed the cable through that, the opening here. Uh, so my phone, uh, I told you is the LG G8. It's, it's a biggish phone and that fits fine. It may be big enough to fit a wallet, not a wallet like I have. My wallet is so ridiculously thick. I often don't carry it with me. I just carry a credit card. So this is good for that. Of course, you can put credit cards in one. If you're still carrying uh, wired headphones, they could go in with the phone with the feed-through pocket for the jack. And then a little pocket over here, probably good enough for your keys. All right, so after you undo the Velcro, you have to... Uh, let me step over here so that we can see. And I will show you. Oh. Uh, 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 uh. Very proud of my little shelter t shirt. Aww. But that's the same and shelter that you donate volunteer. the uh, yeah. gadgets to. That's yes. great. The only volunteering I do for the, uh, the only volunteering I do for the shelter is mainly providing gadgets for their functions, okay? In one year, I was awarded <laughs> some award for Best Volunteer of the Year Award for getting them stuff, okay? So that's what it looks like. Just pull it in the back until it's, you have a lot of leeway for adjustment, okay? If you are on the heavy side, it comes with um, a Velcro extender. All right, and it was, it's very inexpensive, just uh, 14 bucks. And it looks like the $2 coupon, which I, I'm pretty sure I had, is still up there. So it brings it down to 12 bucks. Uh, a way to keep your phone secure. Okay, oh, and my wallet and my keys are gone. <laughs> you don't, <laughs> that's funny. That looks great. I also like the reflective, yeah. uh, it looked like a zipper was reflective all over. Yeah, yeah. Is... Uh, it It is very compact. Yeah, it has a reflective strip around it. Yeah, the coupon's still up there. I didn't check the review. Uh, pretty good. Only 500 reviews, but 4.3. Yeah. That's pretty decent. 
Yeah. This looks great. And, oh, it and, seems to come in the few colors too. Yeah. And and when you're yeah, when you have that uh <laughs> those shorts or anything without um the pockets, you're like <laughs> what? Yes, exactly. What? It is a riot. What am I supposed it to do? It is a riot. I own something oh. very similar uh, to this, yeah, um, and it's basically just a strap, and then it has like a big old pocket that can kind of just expand to kind of capture any phone. Um, oh, okay. And uh, same sort of thing, which is, uh, yeah, needed. Needed. <laughs> yeah. Um. And then uh, Ricky asks, when I run, where do I do use my phone? I typically have um, a liner in my shorts that I can put my phone directly on my leg, basically. I, I run with it almost directly attached to my thigh as I'm running. Um, you don't call hundreds of people as you run? <laughs> it's, it's like... It's like on there it, there's oh, oh, I, it's okay. like skin tight stuck to oh, to, okay. to my leg um and sometimes oh. i will i'll put the screen facing outwards but also a lot of times i have my mag safe uh wallet which i <laughs> don't know where it's at at the moment um but typically i have my wallet on the back of my phone and uh so that'll also be uh with me so when i run i kind of have i'm luckily have my id uh my basically all my wallet my phone because uh, some people, when they run, they don't. They just some people will just leave their whole phone at home, and they'll just run. Wow! I know. Wow! I can't do that. Yeah, they they rely yeah. on their watch. A lot of watches, uh, especially the Apple watches, have uh, cellular now, and so oh, you, yeah. you're not going to use it as your daily, you know, cell phone. But it works perfectly for for sport activities is yeah leave your phone oh, that's, yeah okay. you can stream music you can still place a phone call if you need to although it's clunky but a lot of a lot of people uh do that and then and then you know people are talking about armbands and and uh and that out of out of not have you know i use like a uh you know that what i mentioned the liner but out of that i think the pocket that you found is typically the other thing that I like. I like the uh, around the waist versus those arm. The straps. arm thing seems, yeah. It seems like the phone is bigger than your arm muscle. <laughs> they just kind of get to me. It gets yeah, in the way. Yeah. It it's really distracting. It distracts me so much when it's right there, um, and uh, and so I can't handle handle it. Um, so there you go. I like it. That's a, that's a you found a great one and um, very inexpensive for yeah. all the little features that it has. In my opinion, it being uh, reflective, have multiple pockets. It looks great. It looks yeah. absolutely great for twelve bucks. With that, let's move on to Chad's Crappy. Need it, but you might want it at Chad's Crappy Core. Get it. Man, we have a fitness theme today, uh, in a way, mm. because okay. I took a look at a crappy corner fitness gadget. So uh, let's take a look. Hey, Diggy D. So we are back at it with another uh, off price retail gadget. So uh, last time we were at Marshall's, this time we went to Ross for our uh, gadget, only cost me $13. This is the Soundflow Bone Conduction Wireless Headphones. If you are a fan of the Gizwiz, you know that I like to run, and bone conduction headphones are highly recommended for runners so that you can stay aware of your surroundings and listen to whatever you want to. So I thought $13, this sounds like the perfect gadget for me. You can see it's really hyping bone conduction, obviously, in the title right there. Uh, you have one multifunction button, up to three hours of playtime, which is a really small amount of playtime, honestly. That is that is embarrassingly low. Uh, and then concert hall quality sounds. Mm. What the and it comes heck does ear. concert hall... Honestly, concert hall quality is bad quality. That's not... I, when I'm in a concert hall, it's probably not that great. You can still see that they're talking about bone conduction, so if these don't conduct on my bones, I'm going to be real upset. Anyway, the packaging is really nice. Uh, this is the gadget. I pulled it out uh, a little while ago to uh, charge it all the way up. It's fully charged uh, with only three hours of battery life. I didn't want to um, risk it. 
the hardware is pretty simple. You have this kind of like elastic little springy uh, bit that connects uh, both sides. And then there's no switches or anything. The side that looks kind of like a fingerprint, that should be touch activated. Then you also have a little port down here and underneath this little plastic rubber covering is a USB-C port. So uh, appreciate the USB-C uh, there. And then they, you have to like put in this little rubber thing, which is I assume to help with sweat. So let's stick them on. The way you put them on is basically you stretch them out and uh, I put them on backwards. So again, is there a left right on these things? There is not a left right on these things, but I think the right side will have this, this uh, touch sensitive thing. Okay, so I have, I have added them. Now let's see if we can turn them on. There's only one button, so I'm just gonna click it, I guess. Here's the thing, as I read these instructions, and it says, step number two, after I have a Bluetooth device, the wireless headphones will automatically turn on and start searching for the Bluetooth device. There is no switch. There's no way. There's no what? Way. Oh, I dub. I double clicked it, and and uh, it actually said uh, that it turned on and that it's pairing. Okay, I actually need to go get my phone. I don't have it with me, so I'll be right back. They are paired to my phone and working. Uh, pairing them was very easy. I just double clicked it and it turned on. So now I got to figure out this bone conduction. At the moment, it doesn't feel very bone conduction. Honestly, it feels like two crummy little speakers just behind that little thing right there. This feels like no bone conduction at all. Now, can I hear my phone? Yes, I can, I can. I'm gonna turn this all the way up. This is the highest it gets. Can you hear it? It's me. It's almost like an audiobook. Okay, I'm gonna pause it there because I can't think while I'm also talking to myself. Um, very not great quality. Okay, really not good quality uh, for audio. I can. T it sounds like I'm listening to this if I put a speaker under an inch of water and hit play. <laughs> like that's what it kind of sounds like. Um, and I I don't feel like I have used bone conduction headphones before, and this does not feel like bone conduction at all. It feels like speakers just on the other side of that little grill there and they just don't rest very well in your ears, so now you can hear what's around you because they're just so, so crummy. Um, I really don't think that this is bone conduction at all. Uh, I'm gonna say these are pretty crummy. Uh, sound quality is really bad. Three hour battery life is really, That's really ridiculous. bad. Um, and they're yeah. not even that comfortable. So uh, I'm just gonna say this is a piece of crap. The sound flow, bone conduction headphones, uh, not a big fan. <laughs> I, I can only, everything since recording that video is also like triple and double down on just don't bother going and trying to find this gadget. Um, I think they invested the most money in the packaging because this is the nicest packaging. It has, it has uh, magnets. It even has cloth right here. Uh, you know what they don't have? Any other information. I could not find a <laughs> credible website, store, like anything. Um, I was finally able to get to the, uh, this Tech Theory is the, is the brand at the top. I found their website. Their website is so sketchy. Here it is. I clicked to go to their website, like, about a minute ago, and it's just now loaded. It is like the slowest, weirdest thing. Also, whatever this gadget is, absolutely needs to be on the crappy corner. Oh no, did it go away? This lady is using some type of like tripod, like, I don't know what this thing is, but it looks absolutely insane. And that is definitely a crappy corner gadget, if I've ever seen one. That <laughs> What looks is it, like a suction cup. It's like a octopus tentacle uh, connected to a phone, and those suction cups will help hold her. I don't know what this is, but I am so intrigued, and I just feel like I need to test that on the crappy corner. That is weird. <laughs> so I couldn't find a place to actually buy this anywhere oh, than where I bought. Did Chumley find it? Did Chumley on Amazon? It? He may have. 
oh no, a much better, a way, what looks like a, what Chomley found was a better version of the bone oh, conducting okay. headphones. This is oh, what yeah. I'm, I expect with bone conducting headphones is this sort of, I don't know, honestly, this style. Now, I really did look, and of course, Scooter X, I should have not even tried looking because Scooter X found <laughs> the most insane knockoff. I mean, this looks exactly like it. It's just... Uh, it does. It looks it exactly does. like it. 99 cents. It's just the brand is different, uh, but the design... I mean, that looks exactly the same. Yeah, yeah. look at the, yeah. Yeah, look, yeah. even that little touch thing. Yeah, totally, totally. This is it. Yeah, and they are 99 cents. They still say yeah. bone conduction, but I am not convinced that they have done anything other than put a speaker um, in this, and they're they're not doing any other, you know, that bone conduction should, it's still, I like a speaker, it's still doing vibrations, but it's sending it through the bone next to your eardrum, yeah. and nothing should be over your ears, so you can hear and still be aware of your surroundings, so. Yeah. Anyway, also long story short. on the short, bottom of the box it says, for louder volume, use bigger bones. <laughs> so I think that's the problem right there. Uh, yeah, I agree. Yeah, that's it's anyway. The crummy one of the crummiest gadgets I've reviewed in a long time. With that, let's move on to the warehouse. They're geeky and they're goofy. Together they are loopy. When gadgets pass away, he takes them out to play in this gadget warehouse. Oh, oh, oh. Okay, our email is it's fascinating. It's from Michael Prime, Prine, P R I N E, with a amazing 15-year-old LED light. Wow. Here's his video. Good day, Dick and Chad. This is Mike Prime from Albuquerque, New Mexico. Uh, knowing how you guys love LEDs, I thought I'd share some uh, old LED tech with you. For comparison, we got a uh, current model. It's a 60 watt equivalent. And of course, gives you the typical light you get. Yeah. This older one uh, only uses 3.5 watts. It's probably a 25 watt equivalent. <laughs> I bought it in mid 2009. It has individual discrete LEDs yeah. in a uh, pyramid type structure that uh, I'm not sure how much light it gives you, but this was back in the day when LEDs were 20 or $30 a light bulb, whereas yeah. nowadays you can get them for about uh, $3 or so, uh, depending on how smart you want them to be. This one was made by Lights of America, which is one of the earlier adopters in the uh, energy efficiency uh, LED technology. I've had several of these over the years, but this is the only one that's still currently functional. I've replaced uh, most of the other older ones I had that didn't burn out with uh, the newer style LEDs. But I thought you would enjoy that uh, technique, that uh, old technology. Yeah. And there you go. That is insane. My uh, date stamps. I labeled the LEDs so I, so I know how long they last because oh, how contrary to the 20-year life expectancy that they all advertise on their stickers, I've been happy to get uh, three to five years out of LED yeah. lights. Hope you enjoyed the video. Keep up the good work and see you around. <laughs> Bye. That is the perfect video. Perfect, perfect, perfect. That's great. That is that great. That is Great. I also loved how you he, plugged in the the like not original but the uh, what we kind of expect of LEDs today. And one the thing I noticed was it was a nice soft light. The light kind of went everywhere. It wasn't kind of focused in one. You know, the first bulb he plugged it. It's like a normal bulb, right? The light kind of goes everywhere. And then the second one he plugged in, it's like this. It's like directional. It's like harsh blue. It's ugly. It's just so funny how quickly. The technology has changed. That is so funny. It is amazing. Well, you know, Leo, when we first started the Gizwiz, had met with 
the people from C Crane, which uh, produces a lot of high end uh, audio stuff. And Leo was saying, Dick, I saw the first LED light bulb and it uses three watts, but it's 50 watt lumen. Equivalent, 50, yeah. Equivalent, yeah. And he said, the problem is it's $120. <laughs> But the introductory price will be ninety nine dollars. Ninety nine dollars. So For that's probably bulb. nineteen years ago. Yeah. Oof. And now, like uh, Michael said in the video, three and four bucks. Yeah. So the technology, and also the original light bulbs, because of the heat sink, they weighed a ton. Yeah. Uh, you couldn't put them in certain fixtures on the ceiling because to, it would hang down because it was so heavy. Yeah. I, I remember anyway. this would have been la much later than that, but the first uh, Cree light bulbs that came out were really reviewed as like these are some of the best bulbs. And I remember those were like mostly aluminum. I remember picking the thing up and being like, this is a full aluminum bulb, and it's because of that heat sink that you know. Yes, in order exactly. to get the the uh, the LEDs bright enough, they were worried that they'd go thermonuclear and just burst into flame. Yeah. Uh, and so, yeah, they had these massive heat sinks on them early. Um, yeah, that is so. I mean, it's, a, it's amazing how in 19 years we went from a hundred dollars to like four dollars and yeah. infinitely better and longer life yeah anyway yeah michael that was a great video really we good. love videos okay any kind of a video you have old tech like michael has we love that to see how far we've come uh, so make a video one to three minutes like michael uh, format the landscape see the gadget hear your voice you can be in it if you want and uh, put it up on YouTube when you upload it. There's a drop down menu, click unlisted. That way, only people with the URL will be able to see it and send that URL to us, mail at gizwiz.tv. And if you live in the US or Canada, you will get the current issue of Mad Magazine. And we can start using more videos. But if you've never sent one in, do it okay it's very easy just use your smartphone and it'll take you three minutes okay <laughs> mail at gizwiz.tv if you think to yourself you know they might find this interesting i think we will we will find we will. that interesting i suppose it's record <laughs> it and send it in yeah uh, with that let's move on to the letter Yes, and our most frequent contributor who finds the weirdest stuff asks, what do you guys think of this? Does it sound like a lawsuit about to happen? Oh. It's, a, it, it's a Kickstarter project, and we can play the first minute. It, it is a bizarre gadget. Okay. Here it is. The paint, the paint cam, Eve. Okay. Picture a man named Bob. A hard-working family oh, man oh, Bob. Top priority is ensuring the safety of his loved ones. Despite what? being a home fortified with security systems, he found himself lacking a crucial element, the ability to actively deter intruders. And so, he created me. I'm Eve. Wait, 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 wait. Did you say actively deter? Actively deter intruders. Yes. Yes. <laughs> as in, now, as in, attack intruders. <laughs> in a way, he'll show you the way he has come up with. Okay. I'm, an I'm intrigued. Powered robotic security system equipped with an integrated paintball launcher, <laughs> face recognition, and sound dispatchers, <laughs> which allows me to recognize intruders Halt, or you and will stop be targeted. them in their tracks. I am computed to examine my owner's property. Upon detecting unknown entities, I dispatch the message. Okay, the fact that they've made this robot have a voice and a personality is not helping the marketing, okay? The fact that they're like, I will detect, okay? I don't want AI to have 
paintball accuracy on my home. It is a non-authorized personnel. <laughs> Does it do that? Five Does it say that? To leave the property. Five, four. Yes, stare three, it down. Two, one. Zero compliance. Zero <laughs> tolerance. And then it buys a paintball at the person. I cannot stand this. Zero tolerance. <laughs> zero. What is this? Zero compliance. Zero tolerance. Yeah, that's ridiculous. This is uh, <laughs> this is insane. Also, it, it, uh, you, you better hold. Uh, did, what does it does it have? Can it tell where a target is moving? Is it going to have active uh, shot? Like a paintball moves pretty slowly, and if a if an intruder is running, is it going to deter? Is it going to triangulate where it needs to send the bullet? This is ridiculous. Um, yeah. And what do you do when the delivery boy comes? Yeah. What do you do when it's your, your elderly neighbor who needs some sugar? Oops. Yeah, yeah, exactly. Booby traps are yeah. illegal, uh, says Chumley. Oh, well, you know, that just, that just is true. Just go back to it for a minute. Say it again? See how many, go, go back to oh. that for a minute. See how many people bought in. Looks like 75 backers. They've hit their goal. With only 75 people, somehow they raised over 100... <laughs> And two thousand dollars, which means each one of those seventy-five people has spent a lot of money. Oh, wait a minute! Look where it's, look look where it's invented. Uh, where do I even look? Slove Slovenia. Oh. Le I'm not even going to attempt to yeah, say yeah. that. I'll try the um, last part. Slovenia. The only thing I can think of is that if it if it. <laughs> The only thing that I could possibly think of is it would warn you and then say, I'm ready to fire and send an alert to your phone and then you click it and then it fires. Yes. But yes, still yes. you're liable. I guess you're still liable if this thing shoots. It's still you're, you're going to get sued. I mean, but I mean, you, your, your neighbor finds a ball that your kid lost and, he, and it doesn't happen to be on your good list. Yeah. He gets covered with a paint, uh, uh, yeah, that's ridiculous. I mean, what about it's the Uber seen. driver? I mean, or not Uber driver. What about your Amazon deliverer? What yeah. about the UPS driver? This seems absolutely cuckoo. Um, <laughs> I, we're not investing any money, Mo. We nah. changed our mind. No, nah, I don't <laughs> think I am. Yeah, this is the weirdest. Yeah, this is weird. I mean, luckily it's non-lethal, but I <laughs> still. Yeah, I know, but your cleaning bill. <laughs> also, it it is a slippery slope to to start arming our home security systems. Just saying, yeah. I I think it's a bad precedent. Bad precedent yeah, to sit set. I agree. That is a funny one. Anyway, Mo, Mo thanks. That Mo, you find great stuff. No, just great stuff. <laughs> now, if it that if that technology worked with a squirt gun and could target my cats. When they start <laughs> scratching my furniture that I don't want them to scratch. If you use AI technology to tell when the cats are scratching, I might not even mind if it's still a paintball. No, I'm just kidding. I'm just, <laughs> don't call, don't call PETA. Um, okay, well, thank you so much for that one, Mo, uh, for, for sending that over. Also want to say thank you to our patrons over at patreon.com slash gizwiz. Thank you guys so, so, so much for supporting the show. You guys are Amazing. You guys rock. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you so much for your support. If you like the Gizwiz, please consider giving back. Gizwiz.tv. Click on the Patreon tab at the top of our website. There's a big banner that'll take you to a Patreon where you can support every episode. Or there's also a tiny little link where you can support on PayPal. You can also set up reoccurring pay payments on PayPal also if you want. But you don't get any of the perks that come with Patreon. Um... So thank you. Thank you so much, everybody who supports our show. We cannot thank you enough. Thank you, thank you, thank you so, so much. Uh, head on to gizwiz.tv. That's where we record our show live just about every Thursday, 4.30 Pacific, 7.30 Eastern Time. Whenever we're live, the website will update with the live stream. So just uh, check it out, 4.30 Pacific, 7.30 Eastern, like I said. If there's a schedule change, it'll be at the top of the website there. Uh, so you can... Um, know when we are recording oh look who's that guy with all the hair i don't know who that guy <laughs> is at all we have replaced the host uh 
Gizwiz.tv is our website once again. Head on over to Gizwiz.biz, the Sticky D's website. He writes articles about all of the gadgets that we cover on the show. So if you ever need a refresher or a link back to Amazon, Gizwiz.biz. That's the place to do it. While you're there, play! What the heck is it? This is the official, this is the first one, or I guess the last episode was the first one. It's been weird. It's been a weird what the heck is it as we're, we're getting into it, but we're into it full swing. This is the whole gadget, not just a piece or part of the gadget. So you gotta guess what this gadget is. And uh, this one is the famous uh, Popsicles Bluetooth speaker. Uh, yeah, Popsicle Bluetooth speaker, it was all the rage in the 90s. And iPods has an aux cord, you can plug that right in there. And it looks like a popsicle. <laughs> it's that, get a guessing. Uh, six Mad Magazines for correct answers, 12 Mad Magazines for funny, clever, or hilarious answers. So get a guessing over at gizwiz.biz. That about wraps it up for our show. We'll see you next week. I'll be here. <laughs>